In this video, I'm going to create a box plot with pH stat. I have a set of 18 vehicles, they're miles per gallon. And we're going to go to our add-ins tab and then click on pH stat and descriptive statistics and box plot. In the raw data cell range, I'm going to highlight the data, including the label. Check first box contains label. Check into the radio for a single group variable. Check five number summary and OK. Excel places the five number summary on a separate worksheet and the box plot is placed on another worksheet. I'm going to copy and paste the box plot onto the same worksheet as the five number summary. Right click into the chart, copy, go to the tab for the five number summary and then choose any cell that you would like and paste. Our box plot is pasted into the worksheet and then we can resize it to whatever size we desire and then move it into the worksheet wherever we want. Now the box, the box plot also called the box and whiskers displays our five number summary in a graphical format. The lower whisker, if we move our cursor over it, we'll see that it is the minimum value in our data set. If we move our cursor to the upper whisker, we'll see that that's the maximum value in our data set. And the lower boundary of the box is the first quartile. The upper boundary of the box is the third quartile. And the line in the middle of the box is the median of our data set. A box plot is great for visually seeing the data, its central tendency and dispersion and looking at the five number summary. That concludes the video on creation of a box plot with PHDAT and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.